Hey guys, John here, just giving you a heads up that the video that you're about to watch is actually taken from a bigger segment called uh, Terrifier 2 and Explain. So even though this one's about uh, Sienna Shaw, you know, if you want to see a longer version, granted, maybe you have five minutes, maybe you have half an hour, I don't know. But the option is right here. So let's get into it and start with Art the Clown. Art the Clown first made his appearance in 2003's The Ninth Circle, in which Art appears in a train station with bright yellow eyes, before drugging and dragging some poor woman back to hell. There she finds that she is chained up along with two other women. The women are occasionally dragged back down a tunnel where they meet their demise, a cult of unnatural beings who, let's just say, have their way with their victims in the most brutal way possible. Essentially in this version, Art is a gopher for this cult. If you notice, his eyes are seen glowing yellow, something we often see in the Terrifier franchise. But what does this mean? Traditionally in horror, it's a sign of possession. Here in this chapter, Art is serving the cult, bringing them new innocent victims for them to feed off of. I'm willing to bet that on some level, he is being controlled by Satan himself, or whoever this Satan looking demon is, we still don't know. But then, somewhere between episode one and two, something happens, Art changes. We don't see his eyes lighting up anymore. Instead, we see the yellow glowing eyes on Victoria and the pale faced girl, both of which were victims of Art. Now I know what you're thinking, does that mean that Art was once a human who was then killed and is now being possessed by the Satan guy or somebody else? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, I think he was being possessed for a short time, but I think he was always the demon from hell. I think in hell, the cult from the Ninth Circle used to have control over Art and used him to fetch women to bring back to Satan so that he could produce the Antichrist. Hail Satan! Yeah, the Antichrist. If you watch the Ninth Circle again, they're going out of their way to have this Satan looking character impregnate and then steal the children. Why? Well, if you bring forth the Antichrist, the exact evil mirror and counterweight to Jesus Christ, well, that's how you get hell on earth. That's how evil wins. That or I've been watching The Devil's Advocate way too much. God is an absentee landlord! hoo -ah! But Art the Clown doesn't play well with others. He's not what you would call a team player. So I'm willing to bet that he was cast out of hell and banished here on earth. No longer connected to Satan with his yellow eyes, but rather discarded and left to his own devices. Mind you that Damien Leon has said before that when Art the Clown took himself out in the end of Terrifier 1, the character of Art had no idea that he would actually come back to life. He just did that. Unknowing. That's crazy. It also doesn't sound like a thing that a human would do, but maybe a demon that was banished here to Earth. In my opinion, Art the Clown essentially is a dream demon who has been banished here to Earth because even the devil is tired of his shit. How fucking metal is that? And what do you think he would do, knowing that information? After watching everything that Art the Clown has been in, it's clear the dude has no motivations. He doesn't want Satan to win, evil to win, good to win. He's a troll. Simply put, he's Bugs Bunny, but way more homicidal. He wants everyone to lose, as long as he can kick back and watch the chaos unfold. Pure misery and destruction is what he has always appeared to be after. So much like the Joker, much like Leon wrote him to be, He's going to be a wild card in all of this in the chapters to come. After seeing the post cred scene, it appears to me that Art is now raising his own army of yellow-eyed demons that are loyal to him, most likely to take down Sienna. The possibilities for this are absolutely endless, most likely ending several movies later with Art being dropped into some kind of deep, bottomless pit, and Sienna saving the day, of course. Naturally, I would expect some kind of scene where Art pops his head up like Freddy just to let the audience know he's coming back. Because we gotta keep him coming back, right? You just gotta keep him coming. I mean, we don't, we haven't had a supernatural masked killer like Michael, Freddy, Jason, Jigsaw, Leatherface, Chucky in a long time. Like the 90s. It's weird to me that Ghostface is kind of like the newest masked, iconic movie serial killer. You know, we've kind of moved away from that. We have things like Dahmer and. You know, we're always watching those kind of stupid true crime type of deals, but even as early as the 2000s, like Final Destination took front stage, followed by like Paranormal Activity and the Saw movies and, you know, Jordan Peele stuff. But we really haven't had a masked serial killer in a slasher 
doing a new genre, just scaring the shit out of people in a long ass time. So the more movies they want to make, the better. I will show up for them. I love that they have this like grind house, midnight showing feeling. The quality isn't that great, but you don't care because it has a lot of these great practical effects. It's, it's nothing like Halloween Ends. I, I enjoyed Halloween Ends for what it was. With a little bit of time to kind of separate myself from my first viewing, getting past the whole Corey Cunningham thing and just taking that movie for what it is, I still can't get past the fact that the dialogue is written like one of the Twilight sequels. I mean, everyone just speaks in complete... You know what? I'm getting off track. My point I'm trying to make is that Terrifier 2 is not that movie. Terrifier 2 is the little engine that could. Terrifier 2 is the sleeper hit that keeps coming back by audience demand. And if you're a horror fan, there's really nothing more romantic and amazing like that. All of your favorite iconic horror movies, it, it's like a badge of honor. It's a rite of passage. So you put that up against the Black Phone or Halloween 13, Halloween Ends, I'm going to go see Terrifier 2 at every turn. But well, that's just my opinion, these are just my theories. Again, completely subjective, placed together by all the information that I found. I'm pretty sure this is where it's all heading. Comment down below, what did you think? Do you think it's gonna end in hell? Do you, do you have a theory about the pale face girl? I'm gonna make a whole video about her because I have an idea of where that is. Couldn't really fit that into this one. Comment down below, what did you think of Terrifier 2? Are you going to go see Terrifier 3? Is it your favorite horror movie of 2022? I did a poll recently asking what is your favorite movie of horror, horror movie of 2022? And it did pretty well. Unfortunately, I could only fit four in a, in a bracket. But of all of them, Terrifier 2 seemed to win out. So comment down below. Would love to get your thoughts. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I have been John here on Burns Reviews. And we will see you next time.